A mistrial declared on the first day of the trial for the man accused of killing Erica Gaitan, who you might remember went missing back in the summer of 2019. Her family continues to search for her body. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap was in the courtroom with a look at why there was confusion that unfolded there. Well, Natasia, I was here in this courtroom as Erica Gaitan's aunt was on the stand, the first witness of the day. But before she was even finished being questioned, Judge Sam Medrano called for a break. Now, that break lasted much longer than anticipated, and Erica Gaitan's aunt could be seen waiting on the stand with the defendant, Ricardo Marquez, at the desk without his attorneys. Once the judge returned, he called for another break until 1 p.m., and during that break, a mistrial was declared. But we still don't know exactly what happened. The lead prosecutor for the case spoke to us briefly, saying there was an issue that came up with the jury, but we got no answers as to what that issue was. At the onset of trial today, an issue came up with the jury, which resulted in a mistrial. Once a new trial date is agreed upon, it will be reset in the 409th District Court. Our trial team is ready to proceed. At this time, the defendant remains in custody. Thank you. That was all the information said by the lead prosecutor. She did not take any more questions. Now, I did ask to speak with the district attorney as well as someone from the public defender's office, but was told that no one was available. And coming up on KTSM at 9 News at 6, we'll have more about that confusion that unfolded after that mistrial was declared. Reporting from downtown El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.